So I briefly took a little wander down here last night and I couldn't find anything on the map but there are two little trails and I'm going to sort of explore them. So at this point here, the river is just down there, you can probably hear it. So I can go that way or just around this bend I can go this way. Now I'm going to go this way because when I looked at the map it's possible there might be a bridge down the end which would allow me to get across the river and from there I think there are some marked trails. Yes! A bridge! How cool is this river? It's a bit loud so I'm shouting but yeah you don't really get the sense of how high that is. But yeah very cool. Right so I'm going to cross this bridge and then I'm going to check my map and see if I can find an actual hiking route. I saw this place from where I was parked, it looked like a fairy tale castle from there. And uh, yeah, basically I've come up from down there and this has brought me out now to the main road. And from here, this is marked on the map. And I can see what looks like a hiking trail. So hopefully now I can uh, go and do some, some interesting hiking. Look what I found. This is what I saw on the map. And I thought if I can get to this road, I can do this route. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So that's the river I crossed. It was really cool from up here. Look at this mountain. So, so far this is a, a, a nice road. So, fairly easy. How cool is this bench? It's got photos taken from various hikes around here. It's awesome. And the loud noise is this sort of uh, waterfall -y thing behind me. Right, I'm at a crossroads. I've just come from here and I've got two directions. I've got this one up here and down here. Now this route takes me back. This closes the circuit that I'm on or take me back to where I was. So far I've been about an hour and I think there's probably mm, 30 to 40 minutes left that way. If I go up this way there's no circuit, it's a case of just wandering and coming back, but it looks like it kind of winds around and gets interesting. So I think I'm going to go a little bit further up there and ju I just want to extend the route basically. Look at this place. You can see where they've built a glass room at the front of the house there. I'm getting higher and higher now. And yeah, every t you know, the higher I go, the better the views get. I don't know how high I am, and I'm getting hungry, but I have brought food. <sighs> Look at this guy. I bet he's got a nice life, just wandering freely around the mountains here. How cool is that? He obviously belongs to this, uh, to this house I was just showing you. <laughs> no more nice tarmac roads now, starting to get a little bit rougher, which means we're getting to the good bit. I'm really in nature now. I've actually lost the trail. Um, I couldn't find the trail I was looking for so I'm on this kind of little forest path and it seems to just sort of come to an abrupt end at some point so I'm just going to follow it as far as I can and at that point I'm going to head back. Do you know I certainly don't need to worry about running out of water on this particular hike. I have found so many little waterfalls and streams and stuff Very pretty. One thing I do when I have bottles is I try to keep them at a similar weight because I put them in the sides of the backpack. So this pink one is the one I brought with me. What I did was I transferred the water from this one into here and then this is the one from the stream. Look at the condensation, that's how cold it is. I've just tasted it and it actually tastes lovely. But what I'll do is I'll drink this one first just in case there is anything wrong with it. I doubt it because it's from a I mean, natural waterfall in the Pyrenees, but <laughs> yeah, so now I've got plenty of water. I've just had a big drink of that one, uh, but I don't think I've got much more of the uphill climb to go, and downhill I, I really don't drink very much. Well, I have emerged out of the forest, and there's just some wire here. I don't know why, um, but if I uh, look up, look at that view up there. I want to keep on going. There's only just a few more meters left and then this is the end of the trail. So I think I'm going to have to crawl under this wire because, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to let that stop me. Especially not after I've come this bloody far. 
horses. I'm assuming that's some kind of barn for the horses. That can't be someone living there, surely. I mean, this is literally just the middle of a... Well, it's just the edge of a mountain. There's no road, nothing. How are those horses even being cared for? Oh, my God. I can't believe how high up I am. This is just incredible. I have literally never seen anything like this in my whole life. This was so worth it. And now I'm going to have to sod about with the camera and see if I can somehow get a selfie with that view. Oh, there's just no words. Oh shit. The horses are coming to say hello. Um, I'm scared of horses. Oh dear. They, they just want to say hi, right? Oh my god! If my Mel, if you're watching this, you would love this. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get over my fear right now. Wow! Whoa! Oh my god! Hello! Please don't eat me. Don't, don't eat me. No, no, he's trying to eat me. Don't, no, don't, don't, don't eat my backpack. Please, please don't eat my backpack. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Oh. Um, he really wants to eat my backpack. Please don't eat my backpack. <laughs> okay, they're not going to kill me. This is good. And, um, I, I, no, I think, I think we might need to uh, put the backpack back on. Oh, you're a big boy. Hello. Shit, you're tall. Sorry for swearing, Mum. Oh, oh dear. Okay, I'm going to put the phone away now. Fuck, I've got to go. Okay, the wire. It's not to keep the walkers out, it's to keep the horses in. I literally ran. It started running towards me. Oh, such a shame. I was at that place for like five minutes. I wanted to enjoy the view. I can't. I'm kind of intrigued to see Whew, what happens. I'm out of breath because I'm running and I was actually a little bit scared for a moment because that one at the front, he tried to pull my backpack off and then he, he bit me on the arm, so... I don't think they're aggressive, just hungry. Probably because they're just out here on their own. But bloody hell, I was not expecting this. But they obviously know that I, I see that that fence is wired. I saw the little pack next to it, which is why I rolled under. So I assume it would give the horses a a jolt if they went. But yeah, shame the uh, view's been cut short, but I got it on camera and I'll remember it forever. So it is time to head back now. This is the part that's not so fun. You know, when you're going uphill and you're going towards something. There's always that promise of the reward at the end, the amazing views or blah, blah. On the way back, you know, my feet are aching, my shoulders are aching, and I've already seen all the best bits. And now I've just got, I'm not even sure how long, three miles maybe, two, something like that. I've just, I'm just going back. <laughs> so, ugh, yeah. I really wish I could just call a taxi right now, take me back to the motorhome.